Hey there thinkers, welcome back to Critical Hit. My name is Est, and there's quite a bit of talk going on about Red Sonja. Now, what's wrong with kicking some butt and looking like a goddess while doing it? Well, let's get into it, shall we? So here's the tea. I may, just may, have some insights on what ladies don't want. Now brace yourself, because female audiences aren't exactly shrieking for movies like The Marvels, a gem that graced Disney Plus with its presence just to promptly become the MCU's least watched movie on the platform. No one is even watching it. Seriously, did anyone even bother? What about the women? This was for them. No, of course not. They've got better things to do than waste their time on that. And as I mentioned, Madam Web, and let's be honest. Which one was the bigger disaster, that hot mess or the Marvels? Drop your verdict in the comments down below, if you've got the guts. But personally, I'm leaning towards the Marvels taking the title, but hey, feel free to disagree. Well, you would think Hollywood would catch a clue eventually, right? Let's talk Barbie. Whether you're a fan or not, that movie brought in the big bucks. What's the magic formula? It's simple, tapping into the classic girly girl vibe, pink, frills, the whole nine yards. And guess what? Women flock to it like bees to honey, proving once again, when you cater to women, they will show up in droves. It's not rocket science. You would think that they would gather around the conference table, scratch their heads and go, hmm, maybe we're totally off base here. But no, instead we get this gem, a supposed women empowered reboot of Red Sonja promising to flip the bird to the original male gaze trope. Now, I'm not exactly president of the Conan Red Sonja fan club, but let's be real here. She's always been a tad on the sexy side. Seduction, check. Sultriness, double check. And now they're yanking that all away. Get ready to witness a train wreck in slow motion because mark my words, this movie is destined for a disaster. I mean, really, who actually believes women are going to fall head over heels for this nonsense? It's like they're really trying to turn a classic crowd pleaser into some kind of feminist manifesto, hoping to magically draw on the crowds. Newsflash, it's not going to happen. Here we go again with Hollywood's tired old routine of flipping genders like pancakes. Seriously, how many times do we have to endure the same old script? You'd think after the gazillion time, they would actually finally catch on, but no, they're still fumbling around in the dark like amateurs. And here's a shocker for you. Women actually enjoy a little bit of spice in their characters, but instead of embracing that, these studios are determined to turn every leading lady into a walking fashion disaster. However, making characters unattractive seems to be their specialty. Wild doesn't even begin to describe it. This movie is going to crash and burn, and I'm totally here for it. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that our leading lady is supposed to look? She's supposed to look sexy, sultry, the whole nine yards, but no, no, no. Let's just strip away that essential part of her character because, you know, fighting the patriarchy and all that jazz. But spoiler alert, you're not owning anyone but yourselves. Especially when your box office receipts are headed straight down the toilet. The classic bait and switch routine brought to you by the geniuses in Hollywood. Bravo! Just when you thought it couldn't get any better, cue the spiel about shedding the dreaded male gaze and embracing feminism. I roll, because clearly the key to a successful adaptation is to toss everything that made that character iconic in the first place. Matilda Latuz bless her heart, jumps on the bandwagon, singing praises about how empowering the new script is. Cue the collective groan from fans everywhere. Seriously, does this song and dance ever end? Can you name a single instance where the hype actually lived up to the reality? It's tragic watching filmmakers prioritize their feminist agenda over, you know, actually staying true to the character. Cue the collective what the fuck from fans everywhere, as Red Sonja's unapologetic embrace of her sexuality and badass warrior status gets tossed right at the window. Because who needs consistency when you can have a feminist anti-male gaze extravaganza that absolutely no one asked for? Women do enjoy eye candy too. Shocking, I know. But hey, 
let's just strip away that sex appeal in the name of subverting crap. And don't even get me started on the buzzwords like subvert and modern audiences. They're practically a death sentence for any movie. So congratulations, Hollywood. You have successfully torpedoed your own movie before it even hits the screen. I can't wait to see this train wreck whenever it decides to grace us with its presence. Big round of applause for managing to extinguish any flicker of interest from potential viewers. Bravo, because you know, killing movies is just so easy these days. You've mastered the art at it. Personally, why take a character to the big screen if you're just going to downgrade them to fit your agenda? Please stop. However, what do I know? Let's hear what you have to say down in the comment section below. Give us a like, hit the subscribe button, and tap the notification bell. And if you didn't, well, we won't blame you. As always, my name is Est, and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!